Have you ever wanted more power, but you just don't know how to do it? Not horsepower, electrical power. Enough power to destroy the world? Well, look no further, friends. Here at Wesley's Garbage Garage, we can hook you up. You want two alternators, three, four, five? We can do it all. Ooh, the engine looks like engine. Oh, hey. So this episode is going to be a bit different. We're going to be silly slicking in Wesley's Garage this episode because I need to do a whole bunch of work to the bruiser with the electrical system because for some reason, Toyota thought it was a great idea to make this a 24 volt vehicle. So to charge the battery bank and not rely on solar 100% because I don't believe in space magic, we're going to be installing a 150 amp Chevy one wire alternator, a separate battery for the 12 volt system that's going to be going to the Renergy DC to DC onboard battery charger with MPPT because you might as well have solar when you're just parked around, I guess. I don't know. Space magic. Yeah, it's got the Bluetooth control so I can see what's going on with the battery system on my phone. And there is the unit there. Wild. What a disaster. So that pan I'm going to be building a panel that's going to be going from here to here with all my controls. And that panel is going to look like this. So that's just the rough sketch where you have to cut the aluminum to make the panel. Got the night switch to cut off the power to the house fuse panel. This battery eight gang, 10 gang thing I bought twice because I blew up the first one. A low battery protect system. And this fancy unit that tells me how many amp hours I have left in the system. Ooh. A short time later. Where the hell is my hat? Oh well. So the whole reason why we need to do this is because we're going on an expedition at the end of the month. Hope it's going to be like a five episode series. It all depends how much I drink. I don't tend to drink when I film or film when I drink, but I might this time because two episodes I was drunk. I don't know. So there's a, another thing we're going to be installing is this ARB eight foot awning for shade and rain cover. That's going to be pretty slick. Pretty excited about that. That's going to be mounted right on the tent here. Oh, slam that too hard. So there's the mounts there that I got inside the truck and it's a disaster in here again. So yeah, that's, that's the mounts that I've been waiting for for two months. And these go there. Oh, 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 the sun's in the way. Sounds like a viewer problem. Okay, so make sure that every bolt you use, the three bolts we have here, they're all different sizes. So you go around the shop looking for a goddamn bolt that you can't find. Never work in a goddamn heat wave. Okay, so after taking all the AC components out of this engine bay we made another tray that i took out of a buick that's now part of the cruiser to put this uh, ridiculously too big battery for the system in can we close the hood yeah because it's lower than the sick three batteries set up so what do you think should i have the leads this side or this side Probably the other side. Okay. Yes. Okay, so if I accidentally drain this system, I can boost off of this and still be screwed because that means the alternator failed. Yeah. Okay, so now that we got the battery mounted, we need to find the hardware I bought two weeks ago that's going to go here. Don't know where the hardware is exactly, but it's somewhere in this shit show over here. Maybe it's in this area. It's not that bag. It's not that bag. It's not that bag. It's, I bought like $300 in fasteners two weeks ago, and I only needed about $100 worth. 
Wow. It's not that bad. Maybe. Yeah, it's that bag. Perhaps maybe. Yeah, so Wes threw the uh, grinder out of my hands because I was doing the safety squints, so he's, he's fabricacling the new bracket. Welcome to Garbage Garage with Wesley Powell. Look at this awesome mount he just made for my alternator. That is pure garbage, but it works. Wesley, give it a good shake. It's quality with a capital K right that there, boys. That is part of the engine now. That's not going anywhere. Deadly. Yeah. Okay, so you remember how I said that I bought $300 worth of fasteners and only used $100 worth? Well, I'm not going back out to buy more because I have the wrong type of fastener to mount that on it. Wah, wah. So, we're making custom fasteners. Okay, so the awning is now installed. So right now I'm working on the power lead going inside the canopy as I drill holes in this very expensive setup. I was gonna use uh, Edison plugs, but that plan's not gonna work, so I'm using this outboard rigger connector, rated for 70 amps. That should get my power inside the canopy without melting everything. The Renogy DC DC charger is gonna go right there, I think. You've heard of twin turbos, but what about twin alternators? But you really bring this out in the woods to unlock those gates. Oh wait, what time is it? Completely forgot I've got a podcast interview right now. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Thank Should we let him in? Yep. He's not going to fuck this up, is he? I hope he doesn't fuck this up. It's a big opportunity for him. Is it? <laughs> not really. <laughs> What's going on, man? Oh, you know, just chilling in uh, Vancouver Island, working on the truck. Right on. Right on. And, and I've decided, after watching several of your videos, if anybody was to ask me, hey, tell us a little bit about him, tell, tell us what his videos are like, I would have to say it's like SpongeBob and Tiger King became the same person. <laughs> My house bank is a 12 volt system, so I needed a way to charge it. So we uh, put a 150 amp 12 volt alternator on top of the 12 volt to charge the 12 volt system in the house for the canopy. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. It's the dumbest idea I've ever had. I'm just sitting here thinking how long before the fire starts? Uh, well, we haven't tested it yet, so probably in an hour from now. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Well, that was a good interview. Now to see if the truck's gonna blow up in a ball of flames. Okay. Is that making noise and dragging crap around? Um, not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared with this Frankenstein setup we... Well, I made. Wesley just... Suggested strongly? To not do it. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, so the alternator's hooked up. We got the belt on. The 12 volt batteries here with these custom bus, bus bars. Bus bars. Yes. Positive and negative bus bars. So we're going to test out the winch cuz I'm an idiot and don't have a a breaker or a fusible link on it yet. So we're going to test this to see how it draws off of that. Yep. And hopefully it doesn't burn to the ground. It might. I don't see anything melting yet. No fire, no sparks. That's a that's a big win, bro. Oh, okay, I guess the next part is to start the truck and see if it charges. Okay, now we're going to test out the alternator and see if we did it right or completely wrong. 
Oh, I should probably check if I'm not in gear. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, Jesus. Anything burning to you? No, well, I think it's a wean for now. Literally, don't do what I'm doing. There's not one thread on I Hate Mud that showcases what I've done. And there won't be. You'll have to watch this video. But for now, it's not gonna burn down. It might on the trip. I have no idea yet. Time will tell. And I also got the whole electrical control panel mounted. I'll have to do the wiring next episode, so that's going to be another fun little thing. Woo! Okay, so my landlord just called me, and apparently the roof to my trailer is no longer a roof. We should probably go check this out. Oh, hey, that's not supposed to be there. Huh. Sheared right off the post. I can't even park my truck under this. Looks good to me.